Hello Earth citizens! In this video, I will show you a 10 minute routine to do to cool your overheated brain. This routine is taken from Il Chili's newest book, Water Up Fire Down. It looks like this. I'll drop a link in the description below if you want to get a copy and follow along and learn more in detail about this exercise. So first, cooling an overheated brain. What does that even mean? When you have many, many, many thoughts, your brain goes on overdrive and it creates heat in your head, leading to brain fog, headaches, dizziness, some kind of blocked feeling up here. Do you get that frequently? If you're not sure, there are a couple ways to check if your brain is experiencing too much heat right now. You can place your hand on your forehead and feel your hand. Feel this hand that's not touching your forehead. Does your hand feel warmer or does your forehead feel warmer? If the forehead feels hotter than your hand right now, that means there's more heat up here than in your body. But if it's the opposite, if you feel more heat in your hand and cooler in your forehead, that means that your energy condition is pretty good. But generally speaking, most people, when they're on the computer or working and busy, 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 their minds are full of things to do, their heads are generally hotter than their hands. So if this is the case for you, then this routine is good to cool an overheated brain, help you become less foggy in your head. So to start the process of cooling your head, we actually need to start in another place, the hips. When you sit down for a long period of time, energy can't go down because there's stagnation in the hips. So it can't go down to your legs, so it bounces back up. So most people, as they sit on the computer, they have blockage in their hips, so let's open our hips first. Bring your feet shoulder width apart, toes pointing forward. Bend your knees slightly. You will feel your body weight grounding to your feet. Now make fists and tap with the pinky side. Tap your hip joint right here. You can feel the bone right here. Tap your hips. Tap as if you're trying to open up blockage in the hips. So tap deeply all around the hips. Let's tap 30 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Last ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, stop. Now straighten your knees, hands by your waist, and push your hip to the left side first. Push, you should feel a stretch all the way here. Stretch your hips to the left. Breathe out. Let's stay here for three seconds. Three, two, one. Return. Now push your hip to the right side, other side. And breathe. Three, two, one. Return. One more time. Other side. Push your hip. Breathe. Three, two, one. Return. Now push your hip to the other side. Breathe. Three, two, one. Return. Great job. Side to side. All right. Now let's do some hip joint rotations. So let's start with the right leg first. Lift your right leg, hands on your hips or behind your back. Or if you need some help with balance, arms to the side or hold on to something. <laughs> Many options. Just focus on your hips, whatever is easy for you. If it's hard to balance, don't, don't try to balance. Just touch something, just hold something. But let's focus on the hips. I'm gonna show you like this. Okay, let's do five rotations and then the other way, five rotations. Feel your hip joint opening right here. All right, like this. One, two, three, four, five. Now the other way, one, two, Three, four, five. Now switch. 
Left leg, same thing. Five times one way, five times the other way. One, feel your hip. Two, three, four, five. Other direction. One, two, three, four, five. Great job, arms down, tap. Tap your hips one more time, 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Stop. Now have a seat, please. Next, we will do tapping on our brain. Curve your fingers and with your fingertips, first tap the top of your head. Top of your head. Tap like you're trying to break something in there that's making your head foggy. Sometimes if you have a lot of blockage here, it hurts. If you feel pain, breathe out through your mouth. Let's tap here 20 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now tap along the center line of your skull. So from the front to the back center line, tap here. So front, and now work your way back. Up and down that center line for 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Now all over your head, all over. Left side, back side, front side, upside, downside, <laughs> everywhere. 20 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Relax. Now feel your body. Just with your eyes open, feel your body. You might feel some tingling in your fingertips or tingling in your brain. That's energy moving, opening up the blockages there. You're doing great. Now let's stimulate the brain a little bit deeper so that the trapped heat inside of your brain can be expelled out. All right, so now get your fingertips and push down on your head. Like you're pushing into your brain. If you can use your fingernails, even better. Push down into your brain and you'll feel some areas where there's some pain there. As you push down here, exhale through your mouth. And if you find an area that has particular pain linger there push down and stay there push and stay as you push down breathe imagine your pain leaving your body through your exhale Great job. Use your hands to massage the back of your neck. Like you're squeezing like this, the back of your neck. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And switch, squeeze, squeeze. Feel your neck muscles, breathe. Ooh, if you have a lot of tension there, this might hurt a little bit. Just keep breathing. Through your exhale, your muscles will relax. <sighs> Great job. Now clasp both hands 
and gently push down on your head, stretching the back side of your neck. Drop your elbows down. Use the weight of your arms just naturally to feel the stretch on the back side of your neck. And gently bounce up and down. 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Return. Drop your arms. Now let's do it. neck rotations. One more time. Pull your chin towards your chest. From here, make a big circle. Rotating your neck muscles. Feel all the angles of the rotation around your neck. Breathe out. Can you feel your neck muscles? Is there a lot of tension there? Breathe. Now the other way. Big circles. One more time. Great job. Return. Now, how do you feel? Let's check to see if your head became a little bit cooler. Of course, if you have a lot of heat trapped in your head and you have so much thinking, so much worries, 10 minutes is not enough to completely cool your brain. But let's check if it became cooler than when you first started. Because if it became cooler, that means you're on the right track. You just have to do it for a little bit longer. All right, so same thing. One hand on your forehead. Feel your hand with the other hand. <laughs> And now feel the temperature. Is your forehead cooler than when you first started? Can you feel the difference? Or maybe now your forehead is now cooler than your hands. Maybe before your forehead was hotter than your hand, but now your forehead is cooler. Check to see which one is warmer, my head or my hands. If your forehead became cooler than when you first started, or if it's cooler than your hand, you did a great job. These exercises were taken from the book Water Up Fire Down by Il Chili. Make sure you get a copy so you can read more in detail about how these exercises work and what to focus on during each of these exercises so that you can prevent too much heat from going into your brain. To experience a full one hour brain education based class, please visit a local body and brain yoga studio near you.